Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel Alisa Tropical Fruit Tree. So today I just would like to um to show you how's my um custard apple um this one African fruit custard apple has an it has an moving or any sign to growing guys so today we designed to pulling out and put a new one so we will be going to replace uh the Castle Airport we call Pink Murmurs. So here it is. Anona at the Moya and at the back they said, um, excuse me. Uh, so they put the root stock here. They put cherry Moya root stock. So here it is. And uh, that's uh, the variety we call uh, Pink Murmurs and uh, the grafted so so excited to put this guy into the ground but hopefully guy this is my african pie this is the second one the same variety was died so we'll see this guy how it's going so number one unlucky number two unlucky right so hopefully number three will be have a luck have to be some time right not all the time and another one we're going to uh Pull it out of my two or three guy. So here it. And we we play the same, the same uh Anona Cherry Moya, the same uh, we call uh Pink Murmurs, the same variety. So we will pulling out my lamha been this guy two and a half years, three years soon in August next year. But it doesn't moving at all. So this is a mature tree. If you compare this guy, <laughs> not a grow, okay? You compare to my um lamhas over there. So here it is. That's my uh, baby tree when I transferred them two years ago in uh, December. So that's my uh, lump have the same variety. And this one was a baby stick. It's like 800 cm tall. And now look at the baby growing. So guys, it does mean when they are mature tree, they uh, grow faster. No, I believe it's different on the the healthy or not. So this is my baby tree, so lamb has avocado. And at the moment, they are giving me so many of fruit. Look at that. Look at here and here. It drop a lot as well, guys. Drop hip, but still have plenty. So this one's about to go too. You can see the bit string and not sure, but look like this about to go. Look at that. And how many to go at the back too? See that guy? Look at that. So this is my baby tree. And look at that. Growing so much. The been two years and the one big I'm, so I'm going to pulling out. Today is this one. So it's been two and a half years in the ground getting back wood and back wood so i have no more patient guy so today is the day we're going to pull them out and then we replace not an avocado guy because we have 20 avocado in the ground so we're going to replace my um pink mama's castle apple so excited and uh, very hopefully with this one doing well guys so after we done everything in that spot in the same with the area my african price so we will show you again how it looks like guy very excited to show you so here it guy we already done transfer them into the ground so excited hopefully <laughs> finger crow this one doing well my uh mermaid Mum, pink mermaid castle apple anona atamoya so this is my number three in this place guy and today we transfer like a usual use and like a premium potting mix and I put gypsum and I use a uh, today I put after I put everything the soy everything I put my compost on the top which is my own compost like uh, all the chicken breast and I put in there because they already um, become like a soy so that's why I put in there underneath guy and I would show you another one also here it is Another one, Casa Paul here, the same pink mermaid. So excited for this guy. Wow, my partner loves the Casa Paul so much. <laughs> we have more than 10 now in the ground, guys. So hopefully this guy doing well. 
very exciting. So we have two pink mermaids. We have five castle pole, five uh, Pakistan prolific castle pole, and we have a uh, four of uh, African pride, but one was died. So we add up have around ten exactly. Five uh, casted apple prolific, three African pride, and two pink mermaids. So super exciting, super excited, guys. So we'll see. And so here it is. we pull it out and we will try again in the pole guy. Hopefully this guy moving but when my partner are pulling out it's no root at all. So I think it's a root rod. But I don't know why this guy is still green. Look. Yeah. See the stay green, but the root was like a root rod, not my root left. This one also my uh Lamhas avocado. Uh, this one my tree we bought so expensive was like a bike then we bought like a 350 guy or 400 i can't remember look we take care so much we painted the end up look like that die back a lot and we look we cut it all cut it all <laughs> so anyway we put them in the pot see how they go and another one guy <laughs> we can't stop to buy any tree so this is my partner got yesterday from the facebook marketplace so one is a king thai and the taller one king thai and that's a num dog mice it's a shorter one so very exciting because um i am very excited we got another uh, mango but these two will be stay in the pot so hopefully Hopefully this boy, <laughs> this girl, well, girl's better, right? Boy doesn't have a baby. <laughs> so hopefully this guy too will be stay survive in the pot. And when the winter time, we will move them under the pergola over there. And uh, uh, summertime, we will move them out. So let's see which one doing better. The one in the ground over there or the one in the pot. Yeah, guys, that's all we like to show. I'm super excited for my King Thai. We love King Thai so much. We tried to, last year, 2022, was uh, we have we lost two King Thai. And yeah, we just got one at the front yard. So we have only one. So we got another one for breakup. And another number of my, we have two in the ground, but we lost, we lost one guy. So something in the trunk and now the different tree was dead. I will show you the next video and this one, that's why we get another one. So it's very sad we lost the big tree and the bigger trunk. This one's trunk small, not as big, but yeah, anyway, that's how we, we start from guys, start from the little baby. Some we start from mature tree as well. But main goal, I suggest you can go the bigger one, which is better. But I don't know about avocado or what my experience, even I buy all the big mature tree avocado, even my house avocado, my lump house avocado, and my Pinkerton avocado, that's a big mature tree. But look at they do. Suffer in the pot here, lump house suffer. House avocado in here will suffer. So nothing doing better and you compare to my little baby i'll show you here that's i talk about the avocado the baby look at it this a uh, burn tree and look how tall it is now two and a half meter in high and look at that they have a fruit and look at this and over there too right so this is a little one i bought only 50 dollars guys and compared to my uh pink tin I bought $550 and look what it did. It's very sad look, right? So that's why this is my experience guy. You guys uh, try to grow uh, avocado. I don't think you need buy the bigger one. Or unless you live in the mountain so the water was drained properly, then I should be okay. But my backyard, I think um, the water was running our slow, especially 2022. Uh, the water was so much rain and they don't drink enough. And remember, guys, my old I have one at the backyard for flat. And this guy suffered same from the start of first year in the ground. I keep them water too much in this area, all the backyards. But thank goodness, all my tree was 
so why accept the big mature avocado tree so this is my experience good guy we learning the day by day we learn about the tree so avocado tree doesn't like uh, too much water at all they don't like sit in the water they love water but they like to drink as well so that's my big mature tree this is my baby tree as well $50 guy $50, $55 that's my read and it's only one year in the ground look how big it is I think it's the same as Ruth so think two and a half that's my garage it's about two and a half meter in high and looks how bushy it is and compare with now my llama is a trunk burn look how big it is it's super tall this is only from the spring from here up to there that's a spring grow guys and they have a baby fruit look at that Lamha look like easier to hold the fruit than other variety guy i guess oh, oh i think this one is not from my uh Lamha. this one from my motograph for motograph so this is bacon guy uh, let me check a little bit so that one is this one this one oh that's the one sorry that's a pink pen so this is my pink pen fruit I have four but look now look like now one is dying as well look that's my four grafted one die I think my bacon took over the energy because that two stem is a bacon and this one is a house or oh, lamha sorry lamha was dead now so I have only three at the moment I have house avocado I have a pink pen and bacon so that bacon took over and ho have no fruit at all guys but anyway it's okay I'm happy as long as my tree uh, survive. That's amazing, right? All right, guys. That's all I would like to show you how about we grow the mature tree and the baby trees. That's about avocado. And today we got another two in the ground. It's my pink mimus custard apple. And we got brand new two mango. One is a uh, king thai and nam dot mice. It's our favorite food. So whatever we grow in the backyard and front yard, guys, that's all our favorite. We test the fruit, we love it, that's why we grow. It's no point if you don't like and you grow, right? That's my opinion. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for supporting always since from the start till today. And I would like to say thank you to everyone. Every every country been watching my channel and then hope you guys enjoy this video and then um happy Sunday guy and enjoy your weekend with your family. Bye guys. Have a good one.